G'day guys, thanks for visiting Richard's Corner and for following my Facebook journey. This is kind of a video, a dual purpose video. It's not going to be just for my YouTube, it's actually going to be also a shout out to my awesome Facebook fam and friends. But I'm also reaching out to the YouTube viewers that have been following my journey since last September. So if you haven't already noticed, especially on YouTube and I guess on Facebook as well, it has been a little while since I posted anything about anything. <laughs> <laughs> now, except except for my birthday. So now, if you guys on YouTube especially don't know, on May 12th, it was my birthday. And that was such a fun time. Actually, I'm going to flash a few pictures on the screen just so you can see. Uh, there's a picture of me and my mom because it was Mother's Day that weekend as well. So we uh, celebrated with my mom and, and my family. And we had this awesome spread of food. And it was just so good. Oh, my gosh. And um, though I, I, I regret that I didn't take any photos the following day because on Mother's Day we actually celebrated with my partner's parents so with my in-laws and uh, we um, we had a Mother's Day birthday thing for me as well as my sister-in-law and for my stepson so it was quite a celebration there but I was so not feeling well so the reason why you haven't seen on Facebook you haven't seen any face um, workout f uh, f um, videos or, f or, or photos or any posts about my workouts is because I have been dealing with a couple of minor health problems and it's also affected my YouTube journey so my YouTube viewers this is why I haven't been posting anything since the magical mystery thrift bus tour that I went on a couple weeks ago I'm gonna link that up above so um, so what's happened um, two things actually during the magical mystery thrift bus tours a week before my birthday I was actually dealing or am dealing with a case of athletes foot it's kind of funky it doesn't it's not as bad as it seems however if you leave it untreated it can cause some complications including swelling and sores and it really made it difficult for me to step on um, although it wasn't too bad during the thrift bus tour that I that I did a shop with me and coverage of uh, it and it was so much fun that day uh, I was having a lot of trouble walking that weekend afterwards and uh, I even tried working out with it once and then I had to make the decision to stop because my foot was just not agreeing with it, it was swelling it was hurting it was really difficult to stand on let alone work out in so um, I've, I'm on an antifungal kind of pill and on a topical cream and it's been clearing up and I'm hoping, I'm hoping, today is the 18th of, um, of May, so I'm hoping that by Monday I'm actually going to be working out doing some lighter stuff just to sort of feel it out and see whether my body agrees with working out again. So that has sort of stopped me from being at the gym. And then just recently, just, just super recently, I actually was dealing with a sore throat all this time and I had no idea that the sore throat was actually strep throat. So I actually left it untreated and again it got complicated and I got a small abscess in my throat and it was making it hard for me to swallow and enjoy anything and during the Mother's Day weekend, during my birthday, the birthday day wasn't so bad but by the end of that day I was so wiped out and my throat hurt so much. It was like really, really hard to swallow and it was really hard for me to enjoy myself uh, even though it was my birthday. Then on Mother's Day when we went to my, um, my in-laws, it was like, I was just like a lump. I was like, you know, I ate as best I could, but I mean, my appetite was very little and I, my throat was still killing me. And although coffee seemed to sort of, or warm stuff seemed to help soothe the throat, I was really, um, it's really in rough shape. So I actually took the day off of work on Monday and just this past Monday. And I went to a, a clinic and they gave me some penicillin for it. And thank goodness it's actually uh, s um, brought the swelling down significantly. It's only Friday and I still have to take the, um, the treatment till about uh, next Wednesday. So 10 days of penicillin. I'm still on a few weeks of um, this antifungal um, thing for my athlete's foot. So <laughs> this is the first time in weeks that I felt like myself again and that I was brave enough to sort of come back on camera to say, hey guys, here I am, I'm not dead. <laughs> not that you guys would think that I was dead or anything, but I, I, like, I couldn't even talk. I mean, like, it, it, was, it was actually affecting my voice too. So even today, I'm only about 95, 97% okay. I can sort of feel the tightness in my throat still. But uh, all in all, I mean, being on the mend is awesome. <laughs> And feeling like myself again is awesome. So I want to share this awesome feeling with you guys to say, you know what, I'm, I am going to be back. I will be working out again. I will be doing the YouTube thing again. And um, as far as Richard's Corner is concerned, my viewers, um, you guys, again, haven't seen a hauls for a long time. And you've been seeing a lot of vlogs saying, hey, I'm still here, but I've been really super busy. 
doing work and uh, doing this health thing uh, or just getting better. And um, I, I have to be honest, it's been really hard to make time for YouTube. So I have to manage the expectations of my viewers on YouTube that instead of doing them as often as I wanted to, which was almost every day, I have to go down to posting on weekends because I cannot stay up late doing YouTube. When I first started my journey, I was actually staying up late every night for, night, for weeks and weeks and months and months and months where I would, you know, start filming at around 10, 10.30 p.m. and I would finish filming by 11.30 p.m. and then I'd finish editing by about 1. And then I would let it go post and I'd go to bed. I would do that every night. And I have an early morning to work out by 5.30. So I'm working on four hours sleep, not even, every day trying to do YouTube. <laughs> so um, that probably contributed to you know, a few health things, hiccups here and there. And although I stopped doing uh, daily videos a while ago, um, I haven't formally announced that I have to sort of adjust my view, my posting schedule so that you guys just know when to expect something new from Richard's Corner. So I will be doing... <laughs> Here I have the window open. Here I will be doing um, videos every... I will be filming every Friday if I can and spread it out so that they're posted uh, either Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or just Saturday, Sunday. So today's Friday video is going to be just a vlog, but just sort of giving you some heads up as what's going on. And then Saturday, Sunday on YouTube, uh, you will see new videos uh, for um, hauls and stuff like that. I promise that I'm going to be doing some haul reveal reveals uh, later today and posting them Saturday and Sunday. So that is what's been going on with Richard. I am okay, you know, like overall, I mean, you wouldn't, you couldn't tell that I'm, you know, sort of favoring one foot and dealing with an abscess in my throat. I mean, like, but I mean, inside, internally, it's been a real struggle. And it's been really frustrating too. I was making a lot of strides uh, doing my workouts and I wanted to really do a big push before I turned 46. My birthday was on the 12th and yes, I turned 46 years old. So hopefully I don't look so 46, but um I really wanted to make a big push before 46 and I just couldn't. So that was a little disappointing. But uh, now that I am 46 uh, and I'm, I'm okay again, I'm hoping that I'll get back into the gym, I'll be getting back into YouTube uh, on the weekends and try to still press on these journeys, press on through these journeys that I've started and, 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 and try to sort of do a reset, but pick up where I left off as well. Uh, as far as the channel is concerned, on YouTube, again, um, it will be weekends only. But I'm, as far as the marketplace is concerned, which I haven't touched in a long time, I think I'm going to have to do a reset on that as well. So if you see everything or a lot of it or, yeah, everything um, sort of disappear from the marketplace on my Facebook page, which I'll also link, I guess, below, um, just know that I'm probably... Um, doing a whole overhaul new stuff to go into the marketplace purging the old stuff uh, and just trying to get back into a groove that is a little bit more manageable but still uh, can be engaging with you guys so whether you're on my facebook whether you're on my youtube channel thank you again for your support um, i know you guys sometimes follow very quietly you don't necessarily hit like or hit comments but i know you guys are out there because i'll run into you outside of facebook especially in winnipeg here and all of my old friends like oh hey richard i've been following your workouts and you're doing so great and i'm going oh great you know i had no idea <laughs> that you were visiting but that's awesome for me i mean it's good to know that um one person's little journey, whether it's perfect or not, and it's certainly far from perfect, uh, is worth someone's time to sort of read about and whatever. And on YouTube, you guys, you awesome viewers, I mean, I, I still got a few hundred views, even though I haven't been posting anything. So I hope this new content or managing these expectations over again, um, you guys will understand, you know, where I'm coming from. I'm not a young buck anymore at 46 but um i'm still i've still got the energy and the heart for this and i really do want to share more stuff with you um so i'm hoping that you guys will look forward to more hope you guys will stay tuned and uh thank you again for your love and support it it means the world to me and i really do appreciate um you helping me pick myself up after this little hiccup and just pressing on so thanks so much it is Richard from Richard's Corner, though. It's signing off for now for this vlog. Thanks for listening. Thanks for tuning in. I'm going to wish you happy hunting and happy collecting. Hope that all of your finds, thrifty or otherwise, are equally awesome. If you're on my YouTube, uh, sorry, on my Facebook journey, be strong and be blessed always. I will be back in the gym and I will be posting very soon. Yeah, 
Uh, what more is there to say? I'm going to be signing off for now. Stay tuned for more. And thanks again for your continued support. God bless you guys.